Hi everyone and Happy New Year. This is my first video of the year. I hope you had so much fun on New Year's Eve and I hope you've already gotten an amazing start to the new year. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how to hide extensions. Um, I've actually had this requested a few times before and someone else asked me again recently and then I realized I don't think I've ever done that, like a video just dedicated on you know tips and tricks on how to hide extensions. So as being a hair extension wearer myself, I've definitely acquired enough experience to to teach you a few tricks on how to do so. So before I even start to apply actual extensions and show you, um, I think the most important thing to, to know is how much hair you need. Uh, most extension packs come with a lot of hair and most of the time you will not need all of that hair, probably not even half of that hair. I would recommend about two to maybe four wefts per head. If you need more than that, it's probably going to be a little tricky, but um, it really all depends on the head shape and how much hair you have. That is number one, identifying your hair is like texture and density. If you have lots and lots of thick hair, you imagine that whatever you, when you grab most of your hair, whatever the ponytail thickness is, that's how much hair you're going to need to add so that it looks pretty seamless. Especially if your hair is somewhat short and you want to add a lot of length. So I'm going to add in a weft of hair. Since my hair is uh, about this long, I've mentioned before that I have two tape ins on the side and that just gives me a little bit of fullness towards the face. But other than that, uh, my hair is this length. So I'm going to show you applying one weft of extensions. So since my hair is pretty long, adding that weft of extensions is not necessarily going to give me much more length. It's basically going to give me more volume. So another very simple trick but can make a huge difference is where on the head you actually apply the extension weft to. And I always like to go pretty low. So basically where your ears hit and below. Anything above that is going to be pretty hard to conceal and that's just because you want your hair on top to have movement whether you play around with it whether you know the wind blows it whereas the hair down here at the nape of the neck tends to kind of stay put so that's where you want to put in your extensions so that they also stay put and that hair on top has a lot more leeway space to move around and do its thing and not expose your extensions so now I'm just going to section out my hair and contrary to what I just told you to do, which is clipping your extensions to a much lower section of the head, closer to the nape of the neck, I'm actually going to do it pretty high, just making it a little bit more difficult for myself and so that I can just show you how possible it is to actually hide those extensions. So I'm going to clip that out of the way and I'm just grabbing this weft of extensions here and going ahead and applying that. So another thing I like to do is not pinning it right to where that hairline is. I like to go a little bit lower. And that to me I feel like just gives me a little bit more movement and makes the hair look a little more natural. Another thing people will do is uh, tease this bottom section so that the extensions don't move. And I personally have never had a problem with my extensions slipping off or anything like that so maybe my hair is just naturally more tangly but that is definitely not where the problem with extensions comes in so i like to pull, clip them in a little bit lower just so that it makes it a lot more comfortable too as the day goes on and you move your head and you know your hair moves around it feels a lot more comfortable because it has a little bit of that natural movement that your natural hair would have so now for the next section, obviously, is letting that the rest of your hair fall over. So, and now this is where your hair would just flow kind of naturally. And if I move around too much, you, you will see that you can totally see the weft of the extensions. But that's definitely not what we want. So now I'm just going to grab basically my kind of a top crown of the hair and this is what I want. So basically drawing kind of a U on the top of my head and this is what I want to be free flowing hair. So I'm just going to clip that out of the way. 
And so basically this thinner part of hair that goes over the extensions, I'm going to tease all of that and basically to create this wall over the extension weft to kind of hide it. So I'm going to start in the middle because typically that's where hair likes to part. So teasing that, you can definitely add a little bit of a flexible hairspray. And the reason why you want flexible is because you want, you don't want it to be like crunchy or anything like that. You just want it to kind of hold that tease. Now this will give you a little bit of volume. That's not necessarily what we're aiming for with this, um, but it will definitely give you some of that. Then I'm going to work on the side here and tease that. And then the other side, of course. So now, as you can see, I have three separate sections that I've teased. So that's almost causing the problem already because now you have two splits between those three sections. So now what you want to do is you want to grab a piece from each of those two sections and then tease those to basically marry those together. and then kind of comb that and train it down so that it's not just flying up. And before you're done, obviously check it with the mirror to make sure that you don't have any splits, but it should definitely hide it and you should be able to move your head around and, you know, and it not show. So once you feel that you have no breaks in between those sections of hair, go ahead and spray that with a flexible hairspray, let that dry and then let the rest of your hair down. So I don't know if you can tell the difference of my hair looking a little bit more voluminous than it was before because like I said, I didn't actually add length to my hair. All I did was add a weft to add a volume. But if you can see in the back here, I definitely have more volume, which is always great. And it completely conceals my extensions. So as you can see, a very, very simple technique, but it can totally save your hair. And I've even had clients that sit in my chair and said that they've spent a fortune on amazing clip and extensions and that they have never worn them because they're afraid that, you know, they're going to be seen and stuff like that. So um, I just figured, I've seen a lot of clip and extension videos and for the most part, I think they give you the probably the 10 most essential you know bits of information for extensions but this is something that i've always kind of done and i feel like it definitely helps me feel more confident when i wear extensions so i figured it was definitely time to pass on the information to you guys so um, I hope this has helped and um, if you do have amazing extensions lying around at home and you haven't worn them because of the same reason, I hope you try this out and really start wearing those extensions. And not to say that, you know, natural hair length is not beautiful. Of course, if you don't need extensions, then don't feel by any means that um, this video is trying to say that you need them. But I would think that any girl would love to just add an accent, whatever feature she already has. Um, and if you already have amazing hair, sometimes it's just fun to add just a little bit more length. So thank you so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe. You'll just get notified every time I've made a new video. And I hope this year brings you many, many blessings. And I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.